<sighs> Here we go again. Welcome to another mold video. And this time it is oh why do you, wh wh why? You wow, I just started the video. Are you serious? This is my Monocentropus Balfouri, the Socotra Island Blue Baboo. Like seriously, she is. Yep, catch cop. Catch cop, catch cop. Uh oh. I need to get my catch cup like now. Where are my catch cups? I seriously. Oh my gosh. I'm not even prepared for this. Hey, 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 hey. Where do you think you're going, huh? Where do you think you're going? Look at her laying web as she walks. <laughs> there she goes. But, anyways, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. This catch cup looks a little bit too small, but it's better than nothing. Okay, you better stay there. Now, I'm gonna have to do this as quickly as possible. I hate mold, like seriously guys, this, the, I mean the, the soil, the substrate isn't even damp. I swear, mold just happens in my old world tarantulas. I mean, look, look at this. My new world tarantulas, none of them, none of them have mold. If you've watched like previous mold videos, we have the Thailand black, we have that unknown species which is also an old world. If I can remember right, we even had the OBT that had mold. And every single one of those are old worlds, which I find quite weird. It's like the mold knows and wants to mess with me. And also always when I have landscaped the enclosure properly, like the wood, this one has a piece of driftwood in here and the tarantula has made such a nice burrow down there yep and these things decide to come you want to escape nope no escaping for you now i've got to go dump this and yeah i can't i can't use the wood for now because there's mold spores on it well let's go want to see my turtle fall wow it just fell it fell before we even could see it i'll just dump the mold soil over here Welcome back to the toilet that you guys are always like, he has a hole for a toilet, yeah. It's quite normal here, so. I don't know why it's so weird, like, you guys never seen this toilet before, you don't use it? But yeah, anyways, the enclosure is clean, I just washed it up nice. Now I'm gonna have to find something to put in to replace that wood because this tarantula likes to web, so it needs something to anchor its webs on, so... Yeah, I'm gonna go find something. <laughs> look at her, she's still like, get me out of here. Time to go look for that thing that I'm gonna replace, which I am not quite sure what I'm gonna use. There's like a whole bunch of wood over here that I could use, but they'll probably start molding up as well, so no. Oh my gosh, my bucket, the one that I housed my bird eater, the one that had all the substrate still in here, and oh my gosh, the rain, the rain just soaked up everything well that's not good i can't use this now because if i was to use this into the enclosure it's wet so yeah mold again everything's gonna start bringing mold so i'm gonna have to find something else oh yeah quick tour of my garden if you guys i mean since you guys like my garden so much i don't know but i'm just looking for something to put into that enclosure so i'm bringing you guys along so you can see what i have in my garden i guess nothing really much to be honest it's just yeah i, I don't live in a mansion guys it's just a normal bungalow house but yeah anyways back to searching oh check it out ants have made like a nest in this statue thing and Yep, they're going in and out of this little pot. And I just noticed there are tadpoles in my little pot over here. But what am I doing? I'm supposed to be looking for what I'm going to put in that enclosure. I'm already getting carried away. Sorry, guys. Can I put this thing in? It's like a... I don't know. Yeah, I think it... Yep, I think I'll use this. Probably going to have to give it a quick wash, though. All right, looks good. Let's go. It's getting a little bit dark in here, so I'm gonna have to bring these to the garden so we'll be able to see more stuff. Clearer, that is. I'll just put this in. Now for the tarantula. Yes, guys, I'm a one-handed person, so come on, let's go. There we go. 
Oh yeah, I had my Ceratojara Sandery, the Namibia horned baboon over here. I mean, in this enclosure. That tarantula became a male and I sent him out for a breeding loan and the guy who had the female, he just sent me an update telling that the female actually laid an egg sac, so that is awesome. Hopefully that egg sac is fertile and we'll have some nice baby sanderies. You know what, since my substrate is in such a big container and it's gonna be heavy for me to carry this, I'll just like fill up the substrate over here and then we'll go to the garden. So I'll lay a layer down first, a thin layer, spread it up a little bit, and then I will put this, which, I don't know, should I position it like this? Yep, I think that looks good. Now to just top it up with more substrate. Now let's go to the garden. Alright guys, welcome back to the garden. So we're gonna do it over here because the weather now is perfect. Although it just rained, as you can see, everything is like, dude, seriously, when I want to film, I'm filming outside as well. Can you please like, I'm getting too carried away in this video, so gonna do this as fast as possible. Let's go. The reason I put this pot is because, well, the tea can burrow in here where she can like go under here and build her web or anything that she wants really. So this will be quite a nice enclosure. Just gonna be something like this where there's like a second layer down there for the tea to go down when she wants. I'm probably gonna have to put a little bit more substrate but yeah, it's not necessary. These Belfouris will just start webbing them all over the place. They're not like, I would say, obligate burrowers. They're more like an opportunistic burrower. They're more like a webber, I would say. This is probably not a good idea to do it outside. This, I've been looking for this fishnet. Where has it been? It's just been there all along. Oh yeah, by the way, I've got guppies. See? Carried away again. Anyways, gotta get this done quick because it's starting to drizzle again. Every time when I wanna film, the rain starts. Uh oh, yep, she wants to come out for sure. Ooh, okay. You see the water droplets? Yeah, that's the rain. So now this girl, what is your problem? What do you want from me? I know you wanna come out and I'm gonna give you that. So can you please like, not do this to me right now, it's gonna rain, so ugh, behave yourself, please, please behave yourself. I'll use this net because look at her, if I use my finger over there, she's just gonna come like that. Imagine if my fingers were, <clears throat> do you mind if my fingers were over there? Yep, not a good idea. Can you please? This is not the time to play games. Seriously, not the time to play games. What are you doing? Doing. But anyways, that's her on some grass. I mean, she looks gorgeous. Can you imagine if you find this tarantula in the wild? Like, wow. You wouldn't imagine a spider in the wild to look like this, right? Spiders, unlike snakes, they don't have morphs. Well, they do have locality color forms and all, but for the Belfori, that, that, that's pretty much it. That's as good as it gets. And guys, a lot of people say that tarantulas are massive when you tell them, oh, I have a tarantula and they're like this massive spider, but look at this. When you're walking around, you wouldn't really actually see it to be honest unless it starts moving because they're not actually that big. Unless of course you have the Goliath Bird Eater, those guys are just uh, massive. But for other tarantulas, for the majority of them, they're just like normal. But yeah, dude, stop rambling. This, this girl has to go into her enclosure because, yep, calm down, because it is starting to rain. So can you please? Okay, I need you to like go down there and please, you know what, we'll do this. That way hopefully when she goes down, she'll just go under and not climb out some sides over there. But only one way to find out. Let's go girl, come on. No, 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 no. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you freaking serious girl? Why? What have I done to you? All I did was to make your enclosure better for you because you don't want mold, do you? Okay, come on girl, behave yourself. Should I put this over here since she likes to crawl out this way? Not like that's gonna make a big difference. Like if she can climb this, she can climb that. But come on girl, it's raining. I need to go back in. Oh my gosh, oh my god. Oh my goodness, <laughs> why? <laughs> this is what you're gonna have to deal with with an old world. Thankfully, my garden is really, I mean, decently sized. I'm not gonna say big because it's decently sized. I wouldn't call this big, but 
Yeah. She can't go anywhere. That's why I'm quite confident with me doing it over here. Okay, I'll put it like this so she has like nowhere to go out. Hopefully. Can you please walk? Like, walk down. Go, 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 go. Please, please, go, go. Thank you. Thank you. No, 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 get this out. Flip this thing over. Hopefully she doesn't run out. There she is. Gorgeous as ever in her new enclosure setup. Like I said, it's raining, so mission accomplished. Beautiful. Okay, I forgot something. Now I'm gonna have to get a rock because I'll show you in a sec why. I think this one will do. Okay. I hope she doesn't come out again. Actually, this one's gonna be a little bit too small. You better stay in there. All right, guys, you see that little hole at the back of the pot? I'm afraid she may go in there and not be able to come out. That would be a massive problem because I will have to break the pot, which that's not something I wanna do. Cause the hole really isn't that small compared to her abdomen. So before I put the rock, I'm gonna have to, oi, oi, oi. Okay, whoop. Stay there. We're gonna put this because you never know. How about this one? Here we go again. Second attempt. Yes! Oh! Uh, I managed to cover the hole, but in return of that, she is back on the grass. Whoa, where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going, huh? You're not going anywhere. Guys, please plan your rehousings before you do them. Don't be like me. I am a horrible, horrible example. But no worries. Okay. Alright, she's back in. Whoop, get this out. And there she is. Yeah, perfect. So she's down now exploring the bottom of her enclosure. I'm not gonna stress her out anymore. That is pretty much it. So guys, that'll be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to thumbs it up. If you didn't, you're free to thumbs it down. If you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit that little notification bell so you'll know when I upload in the future. If you'd like to support this channel through Patreon, there's a link in the description below together with the social media links. So feel free to go check those out. Till next time, I'll see you in my next video. Peace. Oh yeah, we're not done yet. I forgot to add in some moss. Shouldn't have ended the video too early. <laughs> just get some moss and drop it in. Better cover just in case. Sorry about the bad lighting in here, guys. We're back in my room again and yeah, nothing beats the outdoors. Mother nature. It's always the best. So that is it for this enclosure. Now this. Will be the official end of this video.